Shake, rattle, and roll, not just a song, but a great way to test the strength of building structures. Check out what's shaken on the world's largest outdoor shake table, next on NSF Science, now. Earthquakes kill more than 20,000 people yearly and cost the U.S. an estimated $4.7 billion annually in building damage. This year, the world's largest outdoor earthquake simulator is testing a 10-story full-scale building, the tallest ever tested, to mitigate future earthquake damage. Our goal with a facility like this is to save many lives in the future, in California, in the U.S., and in the world, from earthquake disasters, and also to prevent tremendous economic losses due to the fact that we have widespread damage. The shake table produces realistic 3D ground motions during earthquakes, simulating the equivalent of a magnitude 4 to 8 on the Richter scale, including the 6.7 magnitude Northridge earthquake that struck Los Angeles in 1994. We are actually going to test this building under uh, about 40 different earthquakes with different intensity up to magnitude uh, 7 plus, and we expect no structural damage. The shake table at the University of California, San Diego is part of NSF's Natural Hazards Engineering Research Infrastructure Network of eight experimental facilities supporting innovative hazards research. So the area is to provide shared juice resources that are available to any researcher in the U.S. to I use for their research or education projects to basically uh, help it mitigate the impact of natural hazards um, on, the, on the built environment. The table can carry and shake structures weighing up to 4.5 million pounds, roughly the weight of 1,300 automobiles, capable of carrying the largest payload in the world. The Tall Wood Project focuses on a 10-story tall structure made of mass timber or layers of wood bonded together. This construction material is becoming a popular greener alternative to concrete and steel structures, but the seismic performance of tall buildings with these systems is not well understood. The structure by and large performed as the researchers had intended. The idea for doing these tests is not to collapse, but re really to test out their new ideas and see how well actually the uh, structure performs under these loads. The real-time data collected from more than 800 sensors deployed on the structure will help improve future design codes for building resiliency and fast recovery, minimizing economic losses. With this data, the researchers are able to develop, calibrate, and and, and to validate the computational model that engineers in the real world use to design buildings and bridges and so on. As the computer modeling and simulation improves, the built environment becomes more seismic resilient. After the tests conclude, the team will do a deep dive into the data they collected. Their research will help validate building design codes and computer models to target sources of weakness better, resulting in the construction of stronger, more earthquake-resilient buildings, saving lives and money.